The possibility of life on Mars has been a subject of great interest and in scientific research for many years. As of now, there is no definitive evidence of life on Mars, but the search for life on the Red Planet continues. However, there have been several discoveries and scientific observations that have raised the possibility of past or present microbial life on Mars. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the search for life on Mars. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. One of the most significant discoveries is the detection of organic molecules on Mars. Organic molecules are the building blocks of life, and their presence on the planet suggests that Mars may have once had the conditions necessary for life to emerge. In addition, there have been several observations of methane in the Martian atmosphere. While methane can be produced by non-biological processes, it is also a byproduct of microbial life. The detection of methane on Mars has led to speculation that there may be microbial life living underground or in subsurface environments. Mars rovers have also provided valuable insights into the geology of the Red Planet, including its ancient history and the processes that shaped its surface. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, for example, has discovered evidence of ancient riverbeds and geological formations that suggest Mars was once a much wetter and more hospitable planet than it is today. Furthermore, Mars has a number of features that suggest it may have once had liquid water on its surface. Water is a key ingredient for life as we know it, and the discovery of liquid water on Mars would be a significant step towards confirming the possibility of life on the planet. Mars has polar ice caps that contain water and carbon dioxide. The ice caps have been observed to change in size and shape with the seasons. In 2015, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter detected dark streaks on steep slopes, which were later named Recurring Slopes Linnea. RSL. These RSLs are thought to be caused by the flow of brainy water during the warm seasons. Mars has a layer of frozen soil, known as permafrost, that extends from the surface down to several meters below. The permafrost is thought to contain water and other volatile compounds. Several minerals that require liquid water to form have been discovered on Mars, such as hydrated silica, which is commonly found in hot spring deposits on Earth. Furthermore, the availability of water on Mars could be essential for further human exploration and colonization efforts, as it could be used for drinking, agriculture, and the production of rocket fuel. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. Mars rovers have also provided valuable information about the Martian weather and climate, NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution MAVEN mission, for example, has been studying the Martian atmosphere to understand how the planet lost its water over time. 65 million years ago, a very large, fast-moving body impacted Earth, creating a Shigzulu crater and kicking up enough material to blanket the Earth in a cloud of debris leading to the fifth great mass extinction in Earth's history. And, like many massive impacts, this one likely kicked up small pieces of Earth all the way into space, the same way that impactors on the Moon or Mars send meteors throughout the solar system, where some of them eventually land on Earth. Well, a few impacts likely go the other way as well, sending Earth-born material to other worlds, including Mars. It seems unreasonable that the material in Earth's crust, rich in organic life, wouldn't make it to Mars at all. In 2008, NASA's Phoenix lander discovered perchlorate salts in the Martian soil. These salts are known to be able to lower the freezing point of water, which could allow liquid water to exist on Mars in some conditions. The Mars Exploration Rover mission discovered large deposits of hermatite a mineral that is often associated with the presence of liquid water. This discovery provided further evidence that Mars may have once had a wetter and more habitable environment. Mars rovers have also captured images of dust devils, which are rotating columns of air that pick up dust and debris from the surface. These observations have helped researchers understand the Martian atmosphere and weather patterns, 
In 2016, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured images of active sand dunes on Mars. These dunes are constantly shifting and changing shape, which suggests that Mars has a more active geology than previously thought. Mars colonization is the process of establishing a permanent human presence on the Red Planet. It is a challenging endeavor, but there are several reasons why humans might want to colonize Mars. One reason is that establishing a colony on Mars could serve as a backup for humanity in case of a catastrophic event on Earth. Additionally, a human presence on Mars could allow for more extensive scientific research and exploration of the planet, potentially leading to new discoveries about its geology, climate, and habitability. Mars also has abundant resources such as water, minerals, and carbon dioxide that could potentially be exploited for human use. Finally, colonizing Mars could be a key step in the expansion of human civilization beyond Earth and the development of a multiplanetary species. However, colonizing Mars is a complex and challenging process that requires overcoming numerous technical, logistical, and ethical challenges. For example, Mars has a harsh environment with extreme temperatures, radiation, exposure, and a thin atmosphere that does not provide adequate protection from solar and cosmic radiation. Traveling to and from Mars is also a long and risky journey, and there are significant technological and logistical challenges to developing the necessary transportation infrastructure structure. Establishing a self-sustaining colony on Mars would require the protection of advanced life support systems, food production, and waste management technologies. Finally, the establishment of a human colony on Mars raises ethical questions related to the impact on the Martian environment, the potential exploitation of resources, and the responsibility of humans to ensure the sustainability of life on the planet. Despite these challenges, several private and public organizations, including SpaceX, and NASA are actively working on developing the technologies and capabilities necessary for Mars colonization. And the prospect of a human presence on Mars remains an exciting possibility for the future of space exploration. However, there are several potential habitats and concepts that have been proposed for Mars colonization. One approach is to create underground habitats that would offer protection from the harsh surface environment. These habitats would be shielded from radiation and extreme temperature variations, making them a promising solution for long-term habitation. Another solution is to create pressurized habitats on the surface of Mars, which would allow for more freedom of movement and could potentially be constructed using locally available materials. Mobile habitats, such as rovers or large vehicles, could also be used for human habitation on Mars. These habitats could move to different locations on the Martian surface and adapt to changing environmental conditions. Another proposed approach is to use greenhouse habitats to grow crops and produce oxygen through photosynthesis, creating a self-sustaining ecosystem on Mars. While this is a long-term and highly speculative concept, it could potentially make Mars more hospitable for long-term human habitation. Mars rovers have also discovered large deposits of iron oxide on the Martian surface, which gives the planet its distinctive red color. These deposits provide important clues about the geological history of Mars. Several Mars rovers, including NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, have discovered evidence of ancient habitable environments on the Martian surface. This includes rock formations that could have supported microbial life in the past. These discoveries have greatly expanded our understanding of Mars and its potential for past or present habitability. The ongoing exploration of Mars by rovers and other missions promises to reveal even more insight into the planet's history and evolution. So that's it! Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video! Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.